Anthropology Today was made possible by contributions from Walmart, with major funding from the Junior B. Hall Senior Foundation, and additional funding from viewers like you. Thank you. The human subspecies regional Rufus cervicula, or more commonly known as the southern redneck, has been the subject of much speculation for decades. In this program, we will explore the species extensively and talk to experts of similar but yet opposing sides of the spectrum. Professor Charles Waters has studied the redneck for years, and what he has to say may indeed shock you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The Rufus cervicula is a highly advanced species. Highly advanced. Yes, just take a look at their ingenuity, their ways of creating new tools, inventions, and devices, how they construct intricate building structures and implement their environments. They're skilled in many fields. You mean such as all mechanics? No, such as science, mathematics, physics, chemistry, cloning. Cloning? Yes, yes, inbreeding is a mere myth. It's only a cover-up to disguise cloning accidents. Really? Oh, yeah. Take a look at any high school yearbooks from the 1900s. You'll find that the same individual is in each and every graduating class. Rednecks have been replicating themselves throughout the ages. Their scientific knowledge and technology far surpasses our own. Wow, that's, that's absolutely amazing. Oh, yes, but the wonders don't end there. So how would somebody know if they're living near a redneck? Rednecks tend to live in subtropic habitats. Normally they dwell in homes that are mobile and own at least five cars that aren't. Their environments tend to vary, ranging from tight-knit communities or parks to lone dens on the outskirts of civilization. Females tend to weigh between 90 to 400 pounds, while males may weigh between 110 and 880 pounds. They hunt in packs or alone and prey off a wide variety of animals. Mm, how wide? The so. entire animal kingdom. Even each other? If necessary, they do happen to favor deer and water buffalo though. UFO enthusiast Gorn Cooper has a few of his own theories about the origins of the redneck. Rednecks are aliens. They're what? Aliens. Ah, uh, okay. So what makes you say this? Millions of years ago, aliens came to Earth and collected DNA samples. They used these samples to disguise themselves when they returned a few hundred years ago. However, uh, they didn't realize that our species would develop from slack-jawed, dentally challenged uh, ancestors with no upper lips. So uh, they forced them to blend into society by attending um, NASCAR events or uh, going to uh, Walmart super centers. They even had to develop their own you know, native tongue, like uh, going to Walmarts, to uh, communicate with our species. However, there are still plenty of skeptics. Genius. I ain't no geniuses. I've been married to one for 15 years. He's the stupidest man I know. Idiot. He walks our seven-year-old to school because he's in the same grade. Okay, I went to my ex-husband's family reunion one time. You know, the only difference between a singles bar and his family reunion is, is a serve possum at his family reunion. My ex-husband decided to cut grass the other day, but the only reason was he was trying to find his boat so he could go fishing. And my ex-husband took me out for supper one night. So we we're gonna have a seven course meal. That idiot's idea of a seven course meal was a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken and a six pack. My ex-husband thinks that the mountain men for deliverance was just misunderstood. The idiot. Well, my husband's grandfather just died and left his widow all the money. Problem is, she can't spend it till she's 14. My husband, when we went on our first date, we went to look at Point. We were sitting up there and he puts his hand on my knee. I said, well, honey, you can go up a little bit further than that. He drives off the cliff, the idiot. An actual redneck offered to invite us to his home in Jefferson, Georgia. Jasper Reynolds has been a redneck all of his life. Oh, hey, come on in. Wow, this is quite a setup you have here. Are these all your machines? Yep, yes, sir. I made them all from scratch. They actually even run on grass. We know rednecks have been green before it was cool. Grass? Yep, yep, that's right. That's why we grow our grass real high. 
and we just harvest it all at one time. It's really environmentally friendly. All us rednecks know that trick. So are you ready for our interview? How do you feel about the rumor that your kind is a highly advanced super species? As well as aliens. Aliens? I'll tell you what, everywhere I go, somebody looks like I'm some kind of alien freak. <laughs> I think it's all true. Even the part about the aliens? Well, what do you think? So is it true that you all specialize in different fields of science? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So what's your specialty? Quantum physics. Yeah, quantum physics. Time travel. Now listen, I've been doing time traveling for decades and decades. I don't have a time machine. A real man, a real redneck doesn't need a time machine. I can, I can take us both back, let's say, decades, minutes, seconds, go back in the future, I can go into the past, all right? All you have to do is close your eyes, and when I snap my fingers, okay? When I snap my fingers, it will be exactly one minute in the past. Close your eyes, don't be scared. Uh, what about the time machine? Close your eyes. Uh, okay. Quantum physics. That's right, quantum physics. Time travel. <laughs> so there you have it. If these theories are true, this man may one day cure cancer. <laughs>